Challenging practice. Question one. Find the sum of all the odd numbers between 60 and 66. So over here, we have all the odd numbers. And what we are going to do is to decompose the numbers into the tens and ones. So we have 63, which is 60 and 3, and 65, which is 60 and 5. We're going to add the tens, and then we're going to add the ones. So the answer would be 189. And for question 2, we have to color the division statements, which are through. So this is correct. So these are our um, simple division statements that we should know. But there are actually some that we need a little bit of work. So let's look at this. 75 divided by 5. So 75 divided by 5, we can decompose this into 50 and 25. The reason why we chose 50 is because 50 can be easily, is easily divisible by 5. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So the answer is 15. So we're good over here. So let's look at another one. So maybe we can try 85 divided by 5. So 85 divided by 5, same thing. We are going to decompose this into 50 and 35. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So this is 17. So this is correct too. This is a very interesting question. So let's look at a question. So Mrs. Jones has some coloring books. She has fewer than 60, but more than 40. If she divides them equally among 10 kids, she will have two left. If she divides them equally among eight kids, she would also have two left. So we can do a table tapas. We can use guess and check, or we can use a list that we put on the left to help us. So over here, let's use a different color. So over here, we have multiples of 10. And it says that if she is dividing them by 10, she'll have two left over. So what numbers, when you divide them by 10, will have two left over? And it is between 40 and 60. So we can have 42. So 42, if you divide by 10, you have two left over. 52, when you divide by 10, you have two left over. 62, when you divide by 10, you will have two left over. However, 62 can be the answer because it has to be less than 60. Next, we are going to make a list of multiples of eight. So multiples of eight. So same thing. Similarly, what numbers are multiples of eight? And what numbers, when you divide by eight, gives you a remainder of 2. So 42, when you divide by 8, it gives you a remainder of 2. 50, when you divide by 8, gives you a remainder of 2. 58, when you divide by 8, gives you a remainder of 2. Similarly, 66, when you divide by 8, it gives you a remainder of 2. However, 66 can be one of the answers because it's more than 60. So we're going to compare this to list and we find that 42 is similar, so 42 can be found in both this list, both of these two lists. So 42 could be the answer. So we're gonna check. So we're gonna come back to the table here. So 42, so 42, when you divide by 10, it gives you four with a remainder of two. 42, when you, when you divide by eight, it gives you a re, it gives you five with a remainder of two as well. So therefore 42 is the answer.